Hi guys, Adam here from Darts Planet TV and today we're going to be reviewing a set of the Target Rob Cross Voltage Pixel Darts. So, let's go and open the box. Danger, danger, high voltage. Right guys, so here we go. Here's a closer look at the Rob Cross Voltage uh, Pixel Target Steel Tip Darts. So, first little glance there, as we see with a lot of the Target Darts, the big window at the front there showing us the dart already made up, ready for us to throw. Nice little picture there of Rob uh, with this really like vibrant green, almost blue color there um, and voltage down the side. Like I said, these are the 21 gram, 90% tungsten steel tip, which is there at the bottom of the box and the mention of the pixel grip technology. We'll flip the box over. Another nice picture of Rob there. These are match weighted to 0 0.05 of a gram. So pretty much spot on, aren't they? 90% tungsten, as I said. I just mentioned the top there, the Vision Ultra and the Pro Grip, which mentions really the flights and the stems. So we'll open the box and have a closer look inside. And again, as we see with the majority of the Target stuff, comes in the nice bright white foam packaging. So we'll take one of the darts out and we'll have a closer look. So the dart itself is very much based on the standard Rob Cross darts that we've seen him using uh, for quite some time now. So it is the standard dart with the ringed grip. However, the Pixel one has a little bit more added to it, which is this really axial and radial groove technology. So obviously we've still got the ring grips, but then it's milled to almost put in what I'm gonna call for now divots. But you can call them whatever you like, but you can just see these extra grip put into the ring grip, which makes it this kind of like pixel type feeling. And then we come down to the point which has the storm surge points. These are the 26 mil storm surge points in there. So again, you've got a bit of grip on your point as well. So the darts are already put together. I will just say the flights are the number six Rob Cross flights and the Pro Grip short stem. So the darts are already together. We'll go and have a throw. Hey right, guys, so we brought the Rob Cross pixel darts over to the board. Time for a quick nine or 12. So here they go. First handful coming in. See if we can get some good scores. 100. That's a bad start. They are. They do come with a shorter stem. I do prefer a longer stem. 60. Nice straight 60. Um, the surge points. I'm resting it on my finger when I throw, and you really there's a lot of grip in that point. Another 60. We'll have one more handful of these. These are a really nice die, actually, very grippy. Oh, a good tight grouping 45 to end it off. Why not? Right, guys, we're going to have a quick summary on this. Right, then, guys, so a quick summary on the Rob Cross Stutz. I'm going to get this bit out of the way first. They retail for around about 83 quid, 83.95 I saw on the Target website. Uh, some of the other websites, 82 quid. So still, let's say around the 83 quid mark. Um, but, so they are obviously one of the more expensive high end of the Target Arts, but when you uh, add into them the extra machining, the extra milling, the extra uh, coating on the darts, it kind of explains why they're a bit more sensitive. And also with the surge points, um, they did attack Gav's board quite a bit, the surge points as well. So if you're a bit precious about your board, make sure if you do get these with the surge points in, plenty of turning of the dartboard because the points are really grippy and they do pull about on your board. However, the grip on these was amazing. Uh, one of the, for, for a grippy dart, you guys always ask us about what's the grippiest dart. I'm going to put these up there with some of the grippiest darts we've thrown. Definitely a good solid steady four, if not four and a half on the grip. A really aggressive grip. Um, and I really quite enjoyed throwing them. Um, so yeah, really a nice dart, guys. Like I said, a little bit pricey, but when we're talking about the darts aren't cheap anymore, guys, and they're only gonna get more and more expensive as well. Target always produce good darts. If you're a fan of the Rob Cross and you want to add them to the collection, 
there's that option as well. Um, if you've got a set and you don't agree with anything I've just said, then please, please, please leave your reviews at www.dartsreviews.tv. Please turn your notifications on, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all again soon. Cheers, bye.